Hello everyone and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin, pre-show edition. We are two minutes away from going live at 7.30. Post notifications are going out. Today's episode, Think Positive and it's Chapter 3. I'm hoping each and every one of you are ready for this particular episode. It should be a doozy. So, this morning, I'm asking all of you to just continue to watch over us, keep us in mind, keep this your minds open and uh, your thoughts um, in a positive way, because today's episode is all about positivity. It's all about coming together and thinking as one. I'm hoping that each and every one of you are going to share this right now with everyone to let everybody know that we're live, and today's episode is all about being positive. I'm dedicating this show to two people this morning, so get ready as I announce that dedication. With that being said, my name is Angel. I'm the host of Have Faith, Let It Begin. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, welcome. We are a show designed for you, the daily commuter. Our show is designed to set out to change the world. Our show is designed so that you can try and look at things in a different light, a positive way. More importantly, Our show is designed for each and every one of you so that when you arrive at work or arrive back at home, you are prepared, you're willing, you're able, and you know for a fact that there's no one out there that can go and steal your joy. Well, I've said a lot, but not enough. So let's get started with another rendition of Half Faith, Let It Begin. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. Well, folks, dreams do come true. This is Have Faith, Let It Begin, and this is our first episode. A weekly show all about faith. Every day, we're going to battle storms. We're going to face challenges. But we have to remember that we're not going to do it alone. We have to have faith. A show with motivational topics. As you go into work today, don't allow anyone to steal your joy. Lift your head up high and know that God is with you. Inspirational stories and personal testimony set out to change the world. My wife and I are expecting our first child. I'm going to be a father. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another rendition of Have Faith, Let It Begin on this Thursday, December 12th, 2019. Folks, let's get right into it. Thinking positive. I dedicate this show to two individuals that are very close to my heart. I dedicate it to my friend and good friend and best friend, brother for life, Brian. I also dedicate this to a colleague of mine named Tony. Positivity. In life, we're going to encounter many individuals that will say things to us that will make us feel unimportant, that will make us feel uncertain, that will make us feel like you're not part of the crew, the gang, the friendship. One of the things that I've always stressed upon is don't allow people to steal your joy. Don't allow individuals to come into your life and say things that'll make you think twice about why you were put on this earth. God has a plan for each and every one of us. God has made you in his image. You have been made for a reason, for a purpose, and your purpose will shed light in your eyes, in your mind, in your heart. But you have to remember to open up your eyes, open your ears, allow God in, so that you can see why you were brought onto this earth. Many times we'll battle so many different types of storms. We'll encounter bad thing after bad thing after bad thing. We'll go to work and we'll have individuals treat us like garbage, treat us like as if we don't belong, say things that are just inexcusable, say things that'll make you feel unhappy. 
It'll put you in a depression. It'll put you in a sadness. It'll put you in a position to make you doubt why you even exist. I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. I'm here to tell you that every single day that you wake up, this is the day that the Lord has made and I need you to rejoice and be glad in it. Do not allow individuals to come into your life, say things to you, make you believe that God doesn't love you, that people out there don't respect you. I have a great story to share with you about an individual that I just mentioned. Her name is Tony. Without getting into too much detail, if it wasn't for her, in my opinion, my daughter would not have calmed down during a very, very difficult time. This individual has shared so much of her heart with my family and she didn't even know who they were until an unfortunate situation occurred where Rachel and myself and my daughter Ariel rushed to the ER. Tony is an individual that thinks beyond herself, puts other people first, has the biggest heart that I could even imagine. She has so many good qualities in her, so many great traits, so many things and attributes that I only wish that half the people that I encounter on a daily basis has even one half of what she brings to the workplace. I'm here to tell you, Tony, that nothing and no one thinks of you any other way than in a positive way. Anybody that truly knows you, anybody that truly is in your presence knows that you are a gift from God. My best friend Brian has done so many things for so many people, especially for his family, especially for me. So for some of you that don't know, when times were rough, Brian, who didn't have much money at the time, took it upon himself to pay for a semester of college for me. That's something that I will never forget. And even though I have tried my best to do all that I can to reciprocate what I feel he did for me was an amazing duty. Sometimes I feel that I am not worthy to be in his presence. That I am an individual that looks up to him. People out there that listen to the show, it's not even about Brian and Tony. It's about many others. It's about people that go to work on a daily basis and do all to protect one another. I have individuals that come inside of my life and are out there for our best intentions. Yesterday while I was at work, we had an emergency. I put it through. And when I put the emergency through, another person called for the same emergency. And another person called. And another person called. The emergency was already put through. Individuals were already on the scene or heading toward it. But they felt the need to call over and over again. My response was, I have put that in four times. Don't worry, they're on their way. But because of the urgency, because of the inconsistency, I took it upon myself to call security and make sure that they were on their way. Only five, 10 minutes later to, re to receive another phone call from the same department asking to speak to my supervisor because they wanted to complain about my tone. They wanted to complain about how I answered the phone and how I explained that I shouldn't have to tell them that they've called four times and instead I should be more professional. Yes, I could have gotten angry. I could have got upset. But I put myself in a better position to think positive. I thought about, did I do my job correctly? Do I feel confident in what I've done that I made the decision to do what I did in a timely fashion? For that, I can say yes. But I also put myself in their position. They felt threatened. They felt in a position where they needed help. And if I was in that position, I too would have probably called multiple times. I guess what we're trying to talk about today is no matter how many times things come into your life, how many times things nitpick or people come to you and they feel like they're jabbing at you and they're giving you the right cross, the uppercut, a straight face, a slap to the face, never allow yourself to lose your cool, always to think positive and remember to have faith because when you have faith, when you believe in yourself, and stop doubting what others are saying or accusing you of and believe that you have been put here for a reason, it would allow you to think positive, to feel better about yourself and to not allow yourself to allow others to come into your life and steal 
your joy. I hope that today's message rings in your ears and I hope that many of you that have maybe said things to others knowing knowing well that you have hurt them that you can take the time to say I am sorry that you can go and say what I just did was wrong and I hope that each and every one of you that have been the reciprocal and the recipient of those negative daggers those darts can forgive those for doing you wrong but more importantly pray for them because sometimes they don't know what they do when you forgive God heals when you forgive God will always be by your side he will never let you down he will never let you go he's doing things not to punish but to make you better and he will never give you anything that you cannot handle remember that on this Thursday may God bless you may God bless everyone that listens to the show and always remember to have faith let it begin thank you for listening to another episode of have faith let it begin that's right Ariel we're done with another show And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. And yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impre- <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Don't forget to join us on our webpage, havefaithletitbegin.com. Scroll to the bottom. Send me a prayer request, and I'll be more than happy to pray for you. God bless you.